In this part, we'll do an exercise in SPSS as our first factor analysis. Uh, and this will be based on data that you can download from this page. Right click, save link as desktop. And then I can open up this data in SPSS. So the data consists of uh, five questions which uh, I don't think smoking is acceptable I don't care if people smoke around me I don't think people should smoke in restaurants I think people should have the right to smoke and I don't think people should smoke around food these represent sm attitudes towards smoking but what we're interested to find out about is whether there may be two or three underlying factors which may summarize these five statements based on their correlations. Uh, the response scale was from 1 to 100 and if we have a look at the data we have uh, 107 cases. This means that we have a ratio of um, about 1 to 20 cases uh, per per um, uh, per variable, so we have five variables to 107 uh, cases, which is a ratio of approximately one to 20, which is ideal for a factor analysis. Uh, so let's start off by going to analyze dimension reduction factor. Control A will highlight all variables. We can put them into the box. And now we'll go through the various options. In descriptives, uh, if you haven't seen the data before, click on univariate descriptives. That will give us the means, uh, standard deviations and n for each variable. Let's also have a look at the correlation matrix the anti-image matrix and KMO and Bartlett's as measures of sampling adequacy. Then let's look at extraction. For the purpose of this analysis we simply want to know how many underlying factors so we'll just analyze the shared variance using principal axis factoring. I'm also going to want the scree plot and I will let SPSS extract the number of factors with eigenvalues over 1 at this stage. Maybe later on I'll come back and fix the number of factors. Rotation. Uh, I could go for very max or oblomen. I might anticipate that there is some, let's say, independent factors that we're looking for. So we'll try very max. Continue. We can skip scores and then just click on options. And here we'll um, leave this to exclude cases listwise. That would mean that if any if a case misses any one variable, uh, they won't be included. Sort by size and suppress correlation coefficients. And for this analysis, we'll suppress values below 0.3. continue and OK or paste. 